I'm making this video because all my rights have been denied. That's all of them. Absolutely all of them. I'm all, every day I'm being harassed. I'm being stalked. I try to get, get police protection and I, I can't get it because Bronco Riddick and Mike Barone, there are these kids that are the Arvisus. There's the little brother and the older brother, the one that's uh, 100, uh, 160 pounds, about 18 to 20 years old, and his sister, the, 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 the ones that that have turned this thing around on me. I'm the victim, and they, they, they try to criminalize me. They do things that um, that a normal person will not be able to get away with, but because they are snitches for Mark and Bronco, they get special privileges where they are, they're allowed to harass me. They're allowed to deny me my, they're allowed to violate my, my civil liberties with any, without any consequences. I became homeless because of them. I, like I said, I try to get uh, um, p p protection from, uh, I mean, I try to make police reports and I'm denied that. So right off, right off the bat, I was, I was already made a criminal without even having a chance to, to um, defend myself. And uh, I'm making the, I'm telling, I'm letting this out because this is the way these crooked cops work, and it's not right. And they're and they're snitches. They get away with murder, pretty, ba um, literally. And there's nothing that happens to them because why? Because they have a badge. But in reality, they're more, well, they're more criminals than the criminals uh, in prison. The only reason they're not in prison is because they have that badge. And I'm one of their, their. They already have their crosses on me, so no matter what I do. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna find a way to 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 frame me. They accuse me of of um, of uh, of being a, a drug addict. Well, yeah, I have never been convicted of a drug offense or charged with a drug offense. They convinced they, they, I, the Mr. Arvis who can uh, uh, um, accuse me of being a uh, um, a drug dealer. Well, I won't file. Uh, I won't charges filed on this man for slander and for making false reports about me because that's not true. Uh, it's just that um, I'm being discriminated on, and they know it, and they and they and they think it's funny, you know. The kids think it's funny because the cops, the Marco and, and Bronco don't do uh, Marco, um, Bronco and Mark don't do nothing about it. They're allowing this to happen to me, so basically I've, I have been already convicted without even committing a crime because I'm already being punished without even committing a crime or charged with a crime. Uh, even the FBI, the, the, I call the FBI, and they don't, they don't help me with these crooked cops. Nothing to, um, nothing's done to help me. I mean, I'm already, basically, I'm already, I'm, I'm already been convicted by these people, which have no authority to do so. And, uh, it's just not right, you know? I'm being denied all my civil rights, and I haven't even committed a crime. I'm being denied all my civil rights. Denied. Not, not violated. Denied. <laughs> And I would like, if there's any decent person out there, I would like, you know, um, them charged for, for violating my, or denying me my rights. That's a federal crime. And the, and the, and the, and the snitches, for, the, the informants for, for violating my civil rights, for harassment, stalking, videotaping illegally. Even, even in the, in, when I thought I was in seclusion, they were intruding. So that's, I believe there's a law called intrusion about seclusion. Well, they, they committed that against me when I, in my most personal moments. They've basically seen me naked in my own room. That's how bad done. That's how far these people have gone. When I used to live in Telfair, in Silmar, and nothing happens to them because of Bronco and Mark.